today we have a very short video today we are going to be discussing how we can use rgb ram inside of maya now before this uh, before the early version of maya in 2018 or 19 we had to use the native rgb ram node inside of maya which was completely based on hardware so now since arnold has introduced a new ram which is completely compatible with arnold we can use that so let's see i'm gonna take a simple sphere and uh, let's bring this up and scale this up so i'm gonna apply a new material to this this will be my stand surface i'm gonna call this let's call this ram and i'm gonna make the weight to one so i'm gonna go to my hyper shade now go to ramp right click graph network and now we have something like this so i'm gonna choose the shader ball here so we have something like this a simple basic default material so i'm going to go to my arnold here uh, before arnold i'm just going to search for ramp now before we had to use this one which was the native ramp node but now arnold has introduced its own ramp which is the rgb ramp now rgb float completely works in decimals on the other hand this works in color so we are going to be using this so i'm going to attach the color to the base color and now you will see we have black and white shade so the first thing that we see is the type which is the overall direction of your ramp and if you have worked with photoshop or illustrator you are probably familiar with gradient and this is exactly what ramp is a simple gradient so uh, now you have interpolation as well where you can choose how smooth linear or spline type of interpolation you want so uh, right now you have a color a and then you have color b so i'm going to select my black color here go to selected color and you can choose any color that you want so i'm going to go with blue and on the color b i'm gonna select and choose red so we have something like this now if i go back here to my arnold ipr you won't see anything because we don't have any light and now as you can see we have something like this a very nice looking sphere so this is how you can use the ram to create amazing color instead of single color you can have multiple colors and nice looking gradient so i'm going to close this now go to hyper shade again and uh, let's dial about how we can use this let's dial this down just a little bit here and i'm going to introduce a new color by simply clicking over here and you can simply click anywhere you want in this graph here or on this color and you can create a new selected color so i'm going to choose something like a purple and I'm going to put it right about there so I can choose one more color and this will be something like with this and now I can position this and if you want to remove any color that you want you can simply click on the X mark on the bottom and that's it so I'm going to choose the purple here and close this and let's see that again and now you have something like this so now you have different types of interpolation as well uh, how you want to define your colors so I'm going to select this and let's get rid of this and this one so we have this kind of color now linear is kind of a simple linear interpolation and i'm going to go with smooth so as you can see as i change my interpolation you can see the overall how this effect is going to happen in the overall color palette here so i'm going to choose smooth and you can see the overall smoothness going around here so now it looks much better now you can also choose spline for both of them or you can also choose none that means this is a simple none there is no interpolation this is a completely rigid color now uh, basically in a step uh, gradient way so this is called as steps so from here i can introduce another color which will be maybe something like a yellow and now if you look at this you have something like this a completely sharp lines of color so you can use this as well if you want to shade something like that so this is how you can use this apart from this uh, apart from this if you want to like change anything i'm going to choose the spline here apart from this if you want to change your overall direction of this you can simply choose u diagonal v radial if you want to create that radial effect or circular as well so by different types of method you can simply go in here and you can change that as well you can change your overall box type of gradient as well so if you have something like a bit more different geometry like a torus maybe and uh, i can apply my existing material here which is a ramp so now you have something like this so what you can do is basically change different type of orientation on the gradient type where if you're not satisfied with the overall gradient you can simply change the overall direction here so now 
yeah something like this so you can create pretty amazing type of color you can have multiple colors using this ramp and you can do pretty amazing stuff with this now you can also use ramp to kind of drive other things as well if you are using something like maybe a noise i'm going to select ai noise and i'm going to choose maybe like an octave of eight amplitude of two and maybe a little bit of distortion as well and uh, let's make the world scale to maybe something like a two so now you have a basic simple noise with a basic color which is a simple black and white so what you can do is you can take a simple ramp here and uh, you can choose a ramp to drive this color which can be something like maybe um maybe green and maybe a blue so now you will see how this is affecting the overall noise here now we have attached our ramp to this color which is a color a and now i can create another ramp and choose this to the color 2 output so i'm gonna choose something like maybe a purple and maybe a red so now you have combinations of two different gradients completely attached to the noise color and now this noise is driving the overall color here so now you have this kind of a you can see colorful painted kind of thing so you can do pretty amazing stuff with color ramps here you can create these amazing shaders inbuilt inside of maya without any extra material or textures so have fun with this enjoy creating your own materials and i'll see you in the next video